Today we'll be unboxing the uh, state-of-the-art Bowers and Wilkins MM1. It's a uh, premium uh, desktop or a PC or Mac or a notebook. Basically a computer 2.0 speaker system from British manufacturer Bowers and Wilkins. If you're familiar with the Zeppelin, uh, the company also made the Zeppelin and some other iPad, uh, iPod uh, speakers. This time we, we are replacing my aging Creative L3500 2.1 speaker system with this bad boy here. Currently priced at $500 plus tax. Uh, from Apple store. Uh, currently Apple is one of the uh, widespread distributors of Bowers in America. So uh, this is how they ship their box. Classy, black, all black. Uh, very simple looking box. So I've been using my uh, current setup for almost six or seven years now. So it's time for an upgrade. So for all you audiophiles out there, you might have heard of this uh, company from England. You can check out this, their website at www.bowers-wilkins.com. Let's go ahead and see what what they have in store for us. So, all right, a quick startup guide. Nothing really special there. Uh, very tiny remote control so again you have the power button here volume up play pause volume down mute uh, reverse and uh, fast forward that's your remote control right there the package also comes with um, audio cable power brick power cord and a USB cable uh, again this system doesn't require a sound card and here it is ladies and gentlemen the right speaker of the MM1 uh, it stands about six inches high measures about uh, three four inches in diameter metal top I don't know what kind of metal this is most likely it's aluminum the the body is uh, wrapped in a black cloth very sexy looking very classy very sophisticated it'll look very nice on your desktop uh, the uh, power control is on the left side of the speaker uh, again there's a nice name Wilkins and Bowers and Wilkins volume control is on the other side you have a nice uh, metal strip on the back side of the right speaker you have the headphone jack auxiliary jack if you need to put in your um, iPod or iPhone and um, the cable connections on the bottom now the left speaker actually has the connecting cable for the left and the right speakers so it's a proprietary cable I don't know what it's called um, by the way these Speakers have been reviewed recently by Maximum PC, right there, the July issue of Maximum PC. And according to the editors, these speaker systems sound so good, they gave it a perfect...